Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, did I? Why did I walk down here? Dude. Yeah, that 450 tire probably helped you out. Helped, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I was wondering how you were like just it, your bike just kept going. Are you going down? No, yeah. Are Not you up. Just ride it back up. Go, go down to get some more momentum. Okay. Like it fucked. Yeah. And there's still a 990 down there too. Two of them. You all right, bud? Just tired. You had a couple crashes, huh? I tried three times. Well, where are you out? Yeah. There's, there's been I a couple. I've tried to climb something this slick before. It's the first time for me. I think going to we we ride in the sand a lot in Indiana, Indiana, yeah. and that and that I think has taught me a lot about. That's what we got. You got to have momentum. Wilmington sand. Because if you. It's totally different. Yeah. If you get in the middle of a hill like this in the sand, your tire just goes, and then you've, you're fucked. Do you have to stay along the side? Then? What? In the sand? Same? No, you just fucking, you gotta, like, whatever gear you think you should be in, get it in a taller gear than that, yeah. and fucking pin it, and Keep your weight and down. aim your bike up there. Let the handlebars just kind of go. <laughs> yeah. You, Don't you, be too committed to a line, that's what I learned. Really? The sand will kind of move you around a little this, bit. Yeah, the sand fucks with you. <laughs> yeah, but it's all about like it's counterintuitive because you're scared. Yeah. But it's the more you yeah, get in the throttle, people, the better it is. I, I grew up riding the sand. A lot of people oh. they see the sand and they get nervous. They back off the gas. And that and the front end. And that it just dump you right on your face. Yeah. Done. The worst thing to do is slow down. Which is again counterintuitive. counterintuitive. You yeah. just got to stay on the gas and just be like, oh shit, and just hammer through it. <laughs> when Joel came up here, he was he looked a little out of control, but he he made it. Cause, because he was committed. <laughs> Slow down too much and then... Yeah, you can't. You were going good. Right around that turn there, huh? Yeah, it was around here that I freaked out and backed off. Oh, here we go. Like, you got it. <laughs> Our team is at the top. <laughs> I had to be carried. Oh, that's all right, buddy. That's all right. Happens to us all. Yeah. <laughs> this is when Dan would have really liked to have been riding a CR 250. Oh, yeah. Uh, he had to go do some work stuff. We're not going to make it back by 11. <laughs> no. He might have had a hard time on that DRZ coming up here, but I'm not sure if he would have because he's... Sh it's clear! He's really good. He's, like, a, he's a good rider. His Especially for being like 5'5". Five five and like... But that, I guess maybe that teaches you to, not to put your feet down. He seemed fine, yeah. no matter where it was, he'd like jump off and like hold the bike. <laughs> oh, did you take the other bike? Thanks. Oh, right. good job. No, you You're took the other one now? Saver. No, we... Oh, no, it's at the top. They're all up there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're just going to see if this guy in the 990 is going to make yeah. it. Yeah, he, one more. I myself out doing that. It's clear! Yeah, we might as well ride with these guys a little bit, I guess. Which way y'all going, right? I think so. Somebody told me yeah. to go right, and right before it gets to the road, there's like a new trail up to the right. I was mm. told that too. Yeah. That's what that dude. The, the trail to the right here is fun. We were yeah. here yesterday. It was yeah, yeah just real we flowing. Up here and to the left. We right we, now, we came from there yesterday okay. and yeah. came up that climb and everything. But here they said I've been to it before. It runs back to a road. 